Well, uh, last two to three years has been uh, really challenging for the construction equipment uh, manufacturers because there were no new projects, so the industry was completely flat, which was below almost 25% of the peak level what we had in the 2011. So that time we were uh, looking for uh, what we could do, how we can uh, increase our business so that you know we are able to utilize the capacity what we have installed uh, to the best extent. So one way is to go for some additional projects or the other way is to go for, for new markets. So we did both. We started uh, exporting few of our equipments to the neighboring countries and then simultaneously we also selected look for products which can bring in some amount of synergy to this. So this is a, these two products what we are launching today is the result of uh, uh, this thing. For example, the loader. We are selling batching plants. Every single batching plant requires at least one loader. We sell about 600 batching plants every year. So, there is a potential for us to sell about 600 batching plants to the same customer. So, we don't have to look for a new customer. Same is the case with the motor grader. We are supplying our concrete batching plants to the road construction. Now, concrete uh, motor graders are also required for the road construction. So, we have to go and sell it to the same customer. So, it brings in a lot of synergy that's how we have uh, gone for this product and I'm sure that there is already a market available the, from the beginning of this year if you look at it the road projects have been taking off quite well since the beginning of this year more than 5,000 kilometers of road contracts have been awarded and most of them are concrete roads and we have been so we have supplied batching plants to all these road contracts so there is an automatic business for us for supplying motor grader for these projects and also loaders for these products uh, see the export is still not a very big uh, market for us it, but still it, is, it contributes to almost about 9%, 8 to 9% of our existing uh, turnover. Because even the most of the, we are at the moment, we are only operating in the East Asia, like you know, places like Indonesia, Thailand, Philippines, and few uh, African countries. So we have not been able to, uh, uh, we, these countries, we expected that, you know, they will grow as, uh, as India has grown. But unfortunately, the growth have not started taking place in those places. But I'm sure. But if I take the indirect export what we are doing, we are supplying, for example, I mentioned that uh, we are supplying uh, truck mixers to Daimler, also we are supplying truck mixers to Tata and Ashok Leyland, they do the export. So if I take that also into consideration, with that, that export turnover does not come to us. But our product is exported through these truck manufacturers to different countries. So if I take that also, then uh, probably the ratio is much higher. But our direct export is limited to about 8 to 9 percent. But we are quite hopeful that this will increase uh, substantially uh, because our parent company also wants that uh, we supply some more products out of India to at least to the Afri some of the African countries. So we will we are uh, regularly having a review of these things and we might uh, add a couple of products. We had certain limitations on our production, so that is being addressed with a new investment of our floor, floor boring machine. So with that, we will be able to do more work here. So probably our cost will come down and we will be able to look at more exports to even to the African countries.